guys, I want to welcome you to the weekly Wednesday for the Financial Freedom Newsletter, where every week, every Wednesday, we delve into something inspirational, motivational, something excerpt taken from the Financial Freedom Weekly Newsletter. Wherever you are, if you're listening on Spotify, on iTunes, Google, be sure to click the like, subscribe, share, comment. Without ado, let's get into the show. Hey guys, welcome to this week's podcast episode for the Financial Freedom Podcast, and I'm your host, Dr. Christopher Liu. I've always been in the search for the quest for quality of life and freedom, and the secret sauce is time, financial, location, and health freedom. And I've been on a mission to scour the globe, looking for people embodying those lifestyles, making an impact, consolidating, get the distinctions, and sharing it with the world through this podcast. So today, I'm really interested to and excited to have Tom Cook, and he is a startup coach and trainer, and he's spent eight years studying and working um, in construction, and in the midst of a corporate job, he developed a love for personal and professional development. So we're going to talk here all about his journey. He's going to talk about passion and profits, starting a business, and really excelling. Uh, Tom, welcome. Chris, thank you so much for having me on. Um, it's an honor, and it's, I'm just really grateful that we could uh, find this time. So yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. I know, uh, like I said, this is Podmatch, the Airbnb of guests and hosts. And um, like I said, uh, you are you have a very interesting background. So tell people your origin story and the work that you do with clients yeah thank you thank you for asking that as well because so as, as it said i'd studied in um construction uh, and work for eight years and i'm sure a lot of people can relate i got a great job after uh finishing university and i thought i was set for life <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought i'd, I'd you know i got the good grades i got the got the good job it was a well-paying job as well and after five years um i en- i ended up going traveling um I'd, I'd broken up with a girlfriend and i was like okay i need to clear um basically clear head and yeah. so i went traveling and i tasted this thing called freedom and it was something that i'd never <laughs> experienced before and i returned back to the same job and it just dawned on me like reading my contract my new contract it was like if you you need to work weekends holidays and any overtime necessary to get the job done and it just didn't sit right with me i felt trapped i felt restricted and i knew something had to change um you know i really wanted to create success wealth not only for myself but for other people as well and i went on this journey of personal development um and after quitting my job 12 months later um, i was able to replace my job salary very quickly as well and i realized that there were so many people who are in the same position as me they're trapped in a job they're stuck they want out and they want like you talk about Chris, the freedom the success the wealth um and they just wanted a better quality of life and i was just determined to help them do that yeah it's so interesting because uh like i said uh in i started out i thought having a high paying job that you know that was set you were set but then you know realize you can't try you can't do you have to ask your you know putting these time cards and you know all this um so uh we'll you know we'll get into this but um what is uh so you a lot of people they're sick of their jobs they they hate their bosses their employee you know and they want to they want to take the leap so what is your advice to people that they want to they're fear but they're like oh my god i have a wife and kids and house you know what is how do you get past that fear okay that's that's a brilliant question because I've said this before to somebody and over the last, over the last four years now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't come up with an answer myself. And I'll, I'll say why that is because I quit my job at a time where I had a lot of debt. Um, I didn't have any clients at that point and I'd actually spent all my savings on personal development um, and how to grow a business. And I quit my job and I'm going to be honest, Chris, like those first six months bear in mind this was 2020 as well um so covid kicked in in the march and mm. those first six months were hell it was so tough but i didn't have a mortgage i wasn't in a relationship i didn't have any kids so i really didn't have any responsibilities 
But what I say to people who have that fear, guess what? You have every right to have that fear because it's okay. 90% of businesses fail um, by year five. But you can overcome that. And, and here's what I say to people. Set up your business and work it on the side. Work on the side, build it up. And what's going to happen is you're going to reach a point where it's going to be slow at first. As long as you're aware of that, it's going to be slow. Set it up on the side. And when your income matches your job income, then you can make the switch. Um, and it saves zero stress. Um, well, I shouldn't say zero stress. There's always stress in business, but it's going to make the journey a lot smoother for you. Yeah. And it's always this dichotomy, you know, start early, start building on the side when it doesn't really matter. And then as you slowly get your taste of freedom, you get more time, you, you get more options, you have more leverage, and then you can say, okay, uh, you know, I have the confidence to go out and do this full time and scale it, or I, you know, quit my job, et cetera. And this is almost your back in 2008, when I, when I made the leap after Lehman collapse, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. Just uh, all this corruption. And then you did it in 2020, people are actually waking up and this is like, actually people are doing this and it's becoming more frequently. So, um, yeah, you also, the big quit. Is, I think, I don't know, America, is it called the big quit? I think it's called the, big resignation, <laughs> the great resignation here. There's yeah. this move of people just wanting to leave. Yeah. Um, just people want to be more empowered. They want to live life on their own terms. Uh, corporations aren't really giving, you know, there is, it's a lot of it's one side. Um, the other, other thing is, uh, so basically you've had this experience, you've had success and, uh, you know, you took a big risk, you made it. So if you had to start again from scratch, you know, what were some of the learnings? What were some of the mistakes? Some things you would do differently, some things you would repeat, tell the audience. So two, two things come to mind. Something that I would repeat is, you know, we talked about the fear earlier and it's just to have that courage, have a really clear, really clear vision of, of what you want. You know, people are looking for more confidence and something that really helped me was just to have courage. And that was going, I was saying to myself, look, I'm scared. I got some fear, but I'm just going to do it. Um, I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm just going to get on with it. And I'm good. I'm willing to have a go, willing to make mistakes, willing to screw things up. It's okay. And you know, I'm sure Chris, you can relate, you know, all these successful entrepreneurs are just a huge folder of failures behind them to get to where they are. Now, biggest mistake. And I always, I always talk about this. I didn't manage my money. I didn't mm. manage and i got into a lot of trouble financially i got into a lot of debt because i wasn't managing that cash flow like for mm. instance i'd have a really good month this is a big mistake i had a really good month and the psyche the mindset is ah this is my new normal this is, it's going to be like this every month now what happened is i didn't um i had a good month and then i didn't sign up with another client for three months mm. and i really got myself into a lot of financial trouble and this i encourage everyone who's starting a business learn the habits and learn all about seek as much knowledge as you can cash flow profits turnover how you're going to manage your money because if you don't get a handle on those things it's it's going to shoot you in the foot yeah very very important uh there's this great book i'm sure it's um uh, it's it's called profit first you know saving for you know these you know insurance and taxes and your salary you know putting that into a bucket right away which is really interesting. So t tell us more about the uh, work that you do with clients. You know, people are interested, um, you know, a lot of these uh, are physicians, people looking to make the leap. What what sort of, um, how do you help clients? Yeah, th thank you. Good question. So what happens is when somebody comes to me, it's really identified, like I said, what do you want? Do you want to create a big business? Do you want to create a small business? Are you happy just creating a business on the side with a extra 400, 500 pounds um, in income every month? So it's like getting them clear on what they want. Now, the biggest thing we start with is what's the pain? What's the problem that you're solving? The only reason anybody ever is, is ever going to hand over their hard-earned cash is if you solve a pain or problem for them. Uh, and it's really getting clear on what is that problem? What is that pain? Many people go into business with a great idea. A few months later, it's they're finished because it's not that it wasn't a great idea. It's just the marketplace didn't want it. So it's getting really clear on that. The other thing that we help them with is who who is their customer? Who is their dream client that they would love to work with, they would jump out of bed for every day, getting really clear on who that is. 
that, for instance, I had a client recently who uh, they did they did the same. We got them clear. Um, they gave their dream client a name, Michael, and the following week she signed up a new client, and their name was Michael. <laughs> In the, exact, in the exact category of what she was looking for. Um, just to prove how effective that is. And it's really setting them up. So they're focusing every single week. So they're focusing on what truly matters. You know, people start a business and they're, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a bit of that. I'm going to do this. Oh, that looks shiny. That looks fun. I'll do that. And they just scattered. And so what I do is I really bring them focused. What is it that matters in your business? And that comes down to sales and marketing. Um, and putting the right strategy in place for them, for them to attract the right customer, their dream client, and obviously make sales as well. Yeah, it's interesting. In uh, in your in your clients, do you ever have people in the uh, sessions where um, they come in with these preconceived notions about running a business um, that you actually have to kind of dispel, and that social media doesn't really speak about? Um, break expectations about what people need to know about running a business yeah and i thank, thank you because I'll, I'll say what i said to somebody the other day business is tough it's really tough and social media paints that image that hey in three months you're going to have a lamborghini <laughs> you're have lots of money you're going to be a millionaire um and you're going to be world famous talking on stages all around the world <laughs> if that would be awesome but if it was the case but it's not and business is tough it's the most rewarding thing you can do though and it's, you got to think with a job, your you, it's consistent income. You know what your income is going to be in every month. But with business, you're you're taking those risks. You're seeing those fluctuations, but the rewards are even bigger. And if you persevere with it and you keep going and you keep learning, I think everybody can have success in business. They just have to keep going. But is yeah. that? Yeah, and then you know the beauty of it is you know you're you're growing as well. It's like you're developing as a individual, you learn about diet and health and sleep. And so you can perform, you learn about leadership management, you know, all these skills. Uh, and then ultimately it's for yourself. You're not, you're not making someone else rich. You're making yourself better and, you know, adding more value and serving the customer, which is what we're talking about. This, you know, this freedom concept. A mentor said to me, your business will only grow to the extent that you grow yourself. I, I love that and it's kind of like your capacity to give and receive and um as you grow you know that's the beauty of it it's like a spiritual game i think yeah. tony robbins said that um one so the other thing is um as we come kind of closer to the end what was the worst decision you know if you look back and it turned out to be your best decision a lot of people are in like you know now is kind of we're kind of in tough times you know the last three years were really rough for a lot of people and so give some inspiration, you know, worst times, worst decision turned out to be like the best for them. I suppose it's not really, how do I word it? I suppose it's not really business related. Let me explain. So I moved, um, I didn't move house, house last year and I moved, ended up moving into central London, which when you hear about it, it sounds amazing. Uh, but it was not a good experience. Um, mm so difficult for my mindset and my sales just uh, plummeted and i think that goes to show it's like you've got to have the right mindset you've got to take care of yourself and my uh -huh. sales, sales plummeted but the reason why it was the best thing i ever did is because i met my girlfriend um uh -huh. out of that, met her in central london so that's why i say it's not business related but we just you know we're so happy and there's a lot of love between us so yeah, yeah it affected the business but I, i've met the love of my life out of it yeah Interesting, because I had a classmate, um, like uh, we went to med school together, but he had to delay a year because he didn't get in the first time. But then that year he met his spouse and, you know, now they're happily married. You know, he's, you know, got a thriving practice. Um, what a fantastic uh, way. Like, I love this, you know, for all the audience out there listening, you know, these are, you know, these you're going to see more and more people taking the lead uh, if you're interested listen to the podcast, be sure to check out how can people follow you on social media, check out your website and uh, contact you. Yeah. Thank you. So on, um, on Instagram, I'm, I'm heavy on there. So you can find me on there, which is Tom WJ and then cook, which is C W O K E. That's my handle on there. Um, I've recently moved into LinkedIn, um, which is Tom cook coaching. So you can find me there as well. And if you wanted to email me, um, it's Tom, 
at Tom W. Uh, best ways to reach me. So thank you. Yeah. And uh, let's thank Tom for coming out to the show. I know he's uh, uh, in the, uh, and um, be sure to follow him. He's on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and all of his resources will be in the links in the show notes. And uh, with that, thanks so much for coming on to the show. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Real quick, I'm going to give you a five-star review. Um, I followed you on all your socials and um, it should release in the next few days. Can I give you a review as a host? It works yeah. both. Oh, cool. So, I'll do that. Yeah. So uh, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to send you a follow-up and it'll, because I'm building out my podcast reviews and it'll just, I think there's three links that to leave a review and um and i'm building out my youtube channel but um you know kind of my twitter or so but uh yeah i'll look for that it'll there's a follow-up message as well I look forward thanks for connecting and let me know i can help you in the future yeah thank, thank you it's really good to meet you and i love i love meeting new people anyway so it's great yeah. To connect. yeah and i hope you feel better and thanks so much for making the effort to come on and no worries no worries i'm gonna go rest <laughs> all right well thank you very much Chris. Take yeah care. See you, Tom. Bye. I hope you really enjoyed that wonderful, inspirational, motivational piece. Again, if you, wherever you are listening, if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. We're on everywhere Spotify, iTunes, Google, Amazon, Audible. And without much ado, be sure to. Thank this show's sponsors, and we'll see you next week.